Hi, Swedish boy with the S position today. America is in ruins. Mr. Will Fahey has been gone for 12 whole hours now, and the fan has heated the sheet, as they say in America. He hit his head after drink with Mr. Irish boy, and he got the bad case no of Bushnesia. None of the boys have gone near him, except for Equatorian boy. But Will Fahey is of shot him in a chain spasm when he mistook Equatorian boy for a quail. Hi, America. I'm George W. Bush, the, uh, I want to say 50th president of this year, United States of America. <laughs> what am I up to? Just chilling. And let me tell you this, that EDM shit, straight slaps. It is a great time to not be fucking president, let me tell you that much. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Damn, Georgie. I wish you could run three terms, but that commie FDR done ruined it for you. You taught me that the mentally handicapped can do anything, like cut the funding of a whole school or run a country. Well, I can't. I'm busy looking into suing Black Ops 3 for stealing all my robot ideas. Like this one here. I call this one Shooty Robot. This one right here, I call this one mini tank. All of them stolen. Remember, if you see a good idea, it's probably stolen from George W. Bush. A letter? <laughs> I'm George W. Bush. I can't read. Is that you, Swedish boy? You call me Cricky Biscuit over here right now. Swedish boy, where you at, boy? Oh, Jesus, what the f oh. I remember, I'm Will Fahey, the greatest artist to ever live, and yet, I still feel George Bush inside of me, like I'm the Bush, and he's the Bush and hiding inside of the Bush. Me, a Bush with George Bush inside of me. I need to capture this feeling. For this video, you're gonna need a pencil. Why are you gonna need a pencil? Because pencils got one thing that we need. They got lines. We're gonna need lines and we're gonna use those lines to make shapes. And if those shapes are bad, we're gonna erase them with what? An eraser. Another thing you probably should have. We're drawing George Bush in a bush. We're recording. I'm ready. George W. Bush in a bush. Let's do it. Actually, I'm gonna make this one we haven't had, um, the sideways landscape. We haven't had a landscape yet, so let's do that. Hmm, this is gonna be a bitch. George Bush. This is a cute little picture with him. They added blush to him. He doesn't have that distinctive a face. I didn't think it was like that. That kind of sucks. You guys will be able to tell. You guys will be like, oh, Will, that's George. That's Georgie, just like I know him. Let's, let's stop talking and get down to the business. I'm just gonna draw a face shape first. Usually what I say on the channel is like, guys, come on, just make it happen. Do it the first try. But this is a US president and it's not one that I care about. But let's draw, let's, I'm not, I'm not gonna draw with dignity. He's gonna look fucking dumb. I kind of miss when he was president Cause it was just chilling, you know? It was like, everybody was like, he's fucking dumb. Like Republicans, Democrats, we were just like, damn, we got dipshit in office. And nobody was tripping. Like everybody just like accepted, like it's a president, it's fucking dumb. <coughs> it's not a job for those with a high IQ. No way that's his face. It's got, there's gotta be something wrong with it. I assume that there's something wrong with my drawings. My goal of this video is, well, my goal of the channel, really, is to never have a Steve Buscemi, a, a Steve Buscemi, like, slip up where it just looks like dog shit. It kind of showed me that, hey, kid, you still got stuff to learn, because you can make fuck-ups. George Bush is one of those people where people tell you a story about something you did, and you're like, no, no way, no way somebody did that. 
That's that's stupid. Why would anybody do that? And then he always like he ends up surprising you in the end. The channel's getting political. It's it's not political. He's just dumb. Like I don't, I don't know any of his policies. But my whole fault with him is that he's dumb. And also, I think that he did something wrong with an election. I don't really know. And honestly, I couldn't really care less. It's in the past. Okay, yeah, he's got some goofy ass ears right now. His lips are so th they thin as fuck. He's got a paper cut. They're lined up with his ears. That's the first time I've seen that on a person. I don't know. I don't know much about face proportioning. But yeah, he's got something interesting going on with his Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm George Debbie Bush, everybody. All right. God, can you spot what's wrong with the picture? I think you can, if you try hard enough. The nose, too big. Way too big. That's, uh, I erased the line and then I just fucking drew directly over it. Fuck it, I'll give him big ass. Big eyes. They're so close to his fucking nose. The little fakey, when did you... T when did you become one of them liberals? Hey, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I just like drawing people who look funny. <sighs> this doesn't look like George Bush. Looks like Lemonhead right now. Is it too late to flip this and make it Bill Clinton? I feel like George W. Bush jokes are still funny. Like, Trump jokes, they're, they're like poop and fart jokes. But Bush jokes, like, I don't know, they'll always have a special place. He's got a cute little comb over everybody. George W. Bush up on her pussy. Rest in peace, X. He's such a goofster. I want to look up funny George Bush story. He was, he was a, there were some times where he was a classy man, I think. Funny George Bush quotes. Like, sometimes he's a classy man, other times he was a loony. One of the great things about books is sometimes there are some fantastic pictures. I, I don't think that, I think that's a meme. I don't think he, <laughs> he probably did say it, actually. <laughs> he's got that thing that he says in the J. Cole song, fool me one shame on you, fool me. You can't get fooled again. Ooh, top 50 most stupid Bush quotes. It's time for the human race to enter the solar system. Quite frankly, teachers are the only profession that teach our children. <laughs> Quite frankly, teachers are the only profession that teach our children. Quite frankly, firefighters are the only profession that put out fires. What a man. Actually, of all my drawings of presidents, I think this is the best one so far. Only my real day one subscribers will get that joke. And then the bush will be. Oh, uh, what am I doing? That was. That's some awful. That. That was just dumb. I do miss his presidency and, like, Obama's presidency because, like, everybody just shut the fuck up about their opinions. I, I didn't shut up a lot when I was a kid. So when I found out that anyone can, like, just say their opinion, I was like, damn, America's pretty great. And then I grew up, and I started hearing people's opinions, and then I said, damn, you guys should really shut the fuck up, because nobody's listening. I think that free speech, like, it's like the most important thing in America, but also some people shouldn't have it. Am I one of those people? I'd like to think that I'm not. Think about, or think about this. If everybody was allowed to have one opinion a year, just one opinion... I think that we'd see a lot less stupid shit on the internet. If you could have one opinion a year, would you really waste it on, say, what's something stupid that people give a shit about? Everybody gives a shit about everything. It's ridiculous. Nothing, guys, nothing matters. Like, a few things matter. Wait, this, this drawing, like, it kind of snuck up on me and started being good out of nowhere. The William Fahey solution to stupid people. And you can quote me on this, right? Let's take all of the people with opinions, right? Doesn't matter, like, if, it, if it's like on the left or the right. We'll just have all the people with opinions, right? To keep your opinion, you have to like, eat a whole bunch of dog shit. A lot of it, a lot of it. And then everybody's gonna drop their opinions 
like hot fucking flies. We're just gonna be chilling. My thing about politics, everybody's wrong. And they're all wrong for different reasons. And they're always gonna be wrong because the whole thing about like parties and like having the same ideas as everybody else who agrees with you, it's, it's a bad fucking idea. You know why George Bush became resident? It's because people said, you're a Republican? I'm a Republican. I'll suck your dick, dude. Thank God that happened, because he was hilarious. Is it wrong to say that Bush did 9-11? Like, do people get, like, angry about that? Is it, isn't anything kind of possible? What if this whole time, Bush has been pulling the strings? There might be a universe, an alternate universe, where everything in the world is controlled by George W. Bush. And I bet it's beautiful. Gravity goes to the left and the right. Nothing makes fucking sense. I'm gonna have a bald eagle. We're pretty much done. But we're gonna add an eagle. Yeah, this is a bad bird. There's definitely been better drawings of bald eagles. I don't get this whole, like, having a national burb thing. I wish I could have just Dick Cheney in the background just hunting for something. The funniest thing about George Bush is just Dick Cheney was there. Let's have some freedom berries on this bush. They'll be red, white, and blue. Okay, well, shit, that's the drawing. We're done. Okay, let's, uh, let's color it real quick. I did it. Guys, I really did it this time. This poster is so fucked up. I gotta fix that at some point. I finished coloring it. He wasn't supposed to look like, like how he does. I'm thinking that like this is what he was doing during Hurricane Katrina. He just just chilling in his little bush with a little bit of eagle. I didn't color the beak. Let's color the beak real quick. I'll use the baseball, I guess. There we go. Perfect. Uh, it's not perfect at all. I'll use the wall. So we're gonna hang this one since it's a landscape. We're gonna put it right here next to a. Uh, Next to the communism one, and right under Drake. Actually, almost touching Drake. It's by my uh, my JV baseball plaque for being MVP. A little bit of backstory about me. I was MVP once. I was the most valuable. After that, not so valuable. Uh, eh. Another classic Will Fahey. Dogs, please. I'm I'm in the I'm in the middle of something. Like the video, comment, subscribe. You know what? Might as, might as well share it with your friends too. M might as well help me out a little bit. And yeah, that that's it. Peace out.